I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Let me take this time to thank you for being a part of our worship service. Thank you for joining the New Beginning Church during this pandemic era. Thank you for joining us, especially during 2020, a very trying time, a time when we all have suffered some loss, sickness, death, loved ones being caught in the midst of this pandemic. Thank you for staying with the Lord, for the Lord is worthy. For the Lord, his mercy endureth to all generations. Thank you for being a part of that group who will stay with the Lord and bless his name. The psalmist here says, I will bless the Lord at all times. This ought to be our testimony, that we will bless the Lord at all times. During this Thanksgiving season, we need to make very sure that we thank God for his mercy and his grace. We ought to give honor to him for, for how good he has been. Thank God for just watching over us. Thank him for giving us another chance to inhale and exhale. Thank him for allowing us to be on top of the ground and the ground not on top of us. This is Thanksgiving and surely we ought to thank God all during the year. But during this season we ought to thank and honor him even the more. In the midst of this pandemic many are without food Many are sitting, standing, and driving through long lines just to get food to eat. If God is blessing you to hear this broadcast, that means that you got something, you have something in which to be thankful. I'm thankful to God for just another privilege just to open my mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. There are so many who have gone on and met their maker. But God has given us one more chance. God has given us another day. And for that, we are thankful. The psalmist says that he's going to bless the Lord at all times. We ought to bless the name of the Lord. We ought to bless the Lord at all times. The psalmist declares that Praises will continually be, on, be in his mouth. Praises ought to continually be in our mouths. We ought to always be praising him, glorifying him, and magnifying him. The humble, the humble, the psalmist says, shall hear and be glad. Those of you who are listening to me, be glad in the Lord. When you hear his word, rejoice and be glad. The psalmist closes in verse number three of this particular pericope by saying, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. This word magnify means to expose, to make big, to exaggerate. Of course, we don't exaggerate how good God is. We don't exaggerate how God has kept us. But we ought to exaggerate God. Blow him up. Make him big before a waiting world. We ought to magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord in such a way that we become witnesses for God. That other men will see us magnifying him and and they will want to get to know this God we serve. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. 
And the psalmist closes verse number three by saying, and let us, let us exalt, let us lift him. Let us lift his name together. Not only should we worship, praise, honor, bless the Lord in our private arenas, but we ought to do it on a corporate level. We ought not forsake the assembly of ourselves one with the other. The psalmist says, when we get together, we ought to magnify, glorify, and exalt the Lord. One of these days, we're going to get together again. And when we get together again, we're going to magnify, bless the name of the Lord. I'm looking forward to that day when we can get together again. We can share like we used to share. We ought to pray that the Lord grants us that spirit, that period in our lives where we can get together and rejoice in the spirit of God one more again. Until that time comes, we will continue to come to you by our remote broadcast. And you will continue to rejoice in the name of the Lord. And you will continue to give unto the Lord. Whatever you do, don't forget to, to thank God this season. Glorify Him and praise Him. And in the midst of worship, we must understand that giving is a part of worship. You can give to the New Beginning Church by three forms. Number one, you can give by a cash app. Our cash tag is dollar sign NBC Souls. Cash tag NBC Souls. Or you can give by way of Zelle. Our Zelle account is lifting.jesus at yahoo.com. Lifting.jesus at yahoo.com. We like the psalmist today. We understand the value of lifting Jesus. We understand that if Jesus is lifted up, he will draw all men unto himself. And finally, you can give by way of P.O. Box, by mail. You can mail your offering to the New Beginning Church, your tithes, your offering, your sacrificial gifts. To the New Beginning Church, P.O. Box 503, Missouri City, Texas, 77459. That's P.O. Box 503, Missouri City, Texas, 77459. Until we meet next time, we're looking forward to meeting again next Wednesday, next Sunday. Until we meet again, let us remember that we here at the New Beginning Church, we are uniting the church, strengthening families, supporting schools, and empowering neighborhoods to impact the world as we are reaching souls by lifting Jesus. Jesus says, In I, if I be lifted up, will draw all men unto me. John chapter 12, verse 32. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you. We bless you. We glorify you. We praise you. We magnify you. We thank you, Lord, for this season. We thank you for being good, for being God, for letting us, allowing us to be a part of you in a part of what you're doing in this season. Now, Lord, we ask you to bless every person under the sound of my voice. Bless us, Father God, that we will walk with you. And bless us that we will glorify your name in all that we do. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling. Unto him, the only wise God. Unto him be power, be glory, in dominion. Until we meet again, let us sing together. Amen. 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 God bless you and God keep you is our prayer.